Oh, hello. All right, guys. I'm going to tell you what. My local Dollar Tree manager, boy, she's a hell of a salesman. Been telling me for weeks, every time I go in there, where's that display? We're going to get this big display. We're going to get this big display. I went in the other day. I went in the front door. I walked over to where they keep the Blu-rays and stuff like that at. And uh, guess what? Same ones. You know what I mean? There was nothing to it. I'm walking around the store. I find like unbelievable amount of pokemon cards more pokemon cards probably than i've ever seen in a store since before the pandemic right and i've seen a lot of pokemon cards they had a lot a lot of a lot of packs but anyway i'm walking all over and i finally asked casually i said uh you know uh i was told today was kind of like the day you know i was like where's all the blu-rays at she's like oh over there by the front door i walk over i walk right past her. and it was like it was a display she wasn't lying it was a display but it was like 90 percent dvds and like i got like all the blu-rays <laughs> that way there's like a couple doubles of some of these but not of all of them it was pretty sad but uh let's take a quick look at what i got right here we just watched uh watched with the boys the other night we watched um what was it the uh zombie apocalypse with simon petty in it what was it uh shawn of the dead we watched that so i seen this in there so this was the only dvd that i did pick up so it was Simon Pegg, so we went ahead and picked that up. Never heard of that. But it looked pretty cool. It might be the best one out of the bunch. Um, when Nature Calls. Uh, I recognize a bunch of people in this cast. Never heard of it, but hey, maybe a stupid comedy. We get a few laughs. Centurion. I actually thought heard of this one, but maybe not. But it's my kind of kind of period type movie, right? And then Skin Trade. It's got Dolph Lundgren in it. Uh, need I say more? Uh, syrup. And I don't know. It was just something about this This one I had a feeling about, you know? Uh, I don't know. It looks like it might be some kind of, um, like, uh, what's that? Michael Douglas movie like that. Fatal Attraction type stuff going on here. And Hobo with a Shotgun. How could you not want to watch this? I have never seen it. It's got Rucker Howard, and I'm guessing he's a hobo with a shotgun. And... It looks pretty violent, so I'm in. Uh, Jason Bourne. It was not four ninety nine. It was a dollar ninety nine. I had toy with buying the four K pack, so I wasn't gonna get this. But I was like, for a dollar, I guess I can have one. That's a Blu Ray. Um, Tiger House. Twelve hours, four killers, one way out. It says right there on the cover. It's my kind of thing right there. I like that kind of stuff. Uh, don't really recognize anybody in that. No, don't. And uh, Belle Canto, I remember this chick from being in a few things. She was in Assassins with, like, a, that's where I know her from, with Banderas, I think, and Stallone back in the 90s. And I don't, is that Julianne Moore? Is that her name? I don't even know. I've seen her in other things over the years as well. And it looks this one kind of looks like a yawner, but I never know. It says, uh, what does it say right there? Siri and Artful. Eh, maybe. That might be a yawner. Uh, God Bless America. Well. Your mag, I was gonna say, get your mag hat, magnet. <laughs> Boom. Uh, officer down. Okay. Well, I don't like to hear that, especially not in this world these days we live in. Uh, if you thought Deadpool was sick, you ain't seeing nothing yet. It's a freaking nun with a big ass gun. Hey, that that rhymes. A nun with a big ass gun. Hammer of God's already had this. Um. So yeah, I screwed that up. I have the app on my phone. It keeps to keep all my uh, disc in that I have, but it's not up to date. And I guess I got this probably on my last Dollar Tree run, so it snuck in there on me. All in all, I, mean, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and one was a double, one was a Blu-ray, and one was a DVD. So we got really ten Blu-rays that I didn't have. One DVD that looks might be the best one out of all of them. But the rest of them were all DVDs. So I say, you know what? I got three Dollar Trees in my area. I didn't go to all three, but I did go to one other one, the one next one closest to me that I passed to go into Wally World all the time. So I pulled into there, I checked it out, and they had a bigger display. Their display was like three times the size of the one by my house. So I'm like, oh, wow, great. This is great. They had like three Blu rays. It was like one of. One of these ones I didn't have, I didn't even get it. I didn't want to stand in the long line 
just to get the one. It was I didn't even never heard of it. If it was something like I really wanted, I would have maybe I don't know if I really stood in line for it then. But it was like I want to say there was there's a lot of DVD. There's like two hundred DVDs maybe more. You know, there's a lot of DVDs and there was like I said like three Blu-rays out of the whole lot. So it's supposed to be the Father's Day thing. I mean. Given the pandemic and everything else, you know, I'm surprised they're still able to get all this stuff to be able to sell it for a buck because, I mean, no movies have been coming out. There's got to be some kind of, you know, backtrack on, you know, the supply of DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff like that, you know. It seems like they're probably selling pretty good, all the old stuff, you know. But uh, did your local Dollar Tree get anything different, I mean, than what I got? I mean, did you guys get a lot of DVDs? Did you get a lot of Blu-rays? Do I need to keep looking? Uh, let me know. Um like subscribe comment uh bye for now off to the next later